Hello. In this recording, I want to show how to apply and register for your lead green associate examination. So the first step you have to do is go to gbci.org, gbci.org and go to my gbci. And uh, you'll have to sign in here using your email and password. Uh, so if it is your first time, create a GBCA account. Okay, you'll have to fill this form and you have to create an account. If your company is a USGBC corporate member, you'll have to get the member ID and enter it here so that you will be eligible for the examination discount. Then you'll have to fill this, uh, fill the form. The important thing is the first name and last name should be same as your uh, your legal documents, whichever you'll be taking for the exam. Let me complete this form. Once you complete the registration, then you will receive a confirmation email from USGBC. After successfully creating account with GBCI, go to my credentials then uh, login using your username and password then you will be asked to create a new profile so you will have to fill this data the date of birth is month date and year You will have to set up your profile. After updating profile, return to main menu. Credential exams. Apply for a credential exam. So we are going to apply for uh, Lead Green Associate. So click here. Apply for credential exams. Okay, you'll have to review and update profile. So review all the information and submit. Select the credentialing route. So here in this uh, case, the candidate is going for uh, Lead Green Associate. So click that. Uh, I am eligible for Lead Green Associate exam and I would like to apply now. There are three ways for documenting the eligibility. So here in this case, the candidate is going to document by education program. So let me click that. I participated in a course entitled. Remember the document should be either PDF or dot doc. I'll have to submit. So uh, now pricing. Uh, this particular candidate is not a uh, student, not a full time student. So I'll go for I am not requesting student pricing uh, for my lead green associate exam then request for special testing accommodations again it is relevant i do not need accommodation for my exams submit my application information check this check this uh, affirmation I electronically sign your affirmation statement once the payment is processed then you have completed your application and you can print your application uh, and you can review from here this is how you have to make an application then uh, when it is approved you can schedule the examination after completing the application you will receive approval notification within 24 hours once you receive the approval notification then you have to register for the exam in this step we'll discuss how to register for the exam go to gbca.org and log into my credentials. And use your email and password to log in. Okay. After logging in, you will see your profile and uh, uh, you will have to go for register for a credential exam. Select the language. Obviously, it should be English. Submit. Then you'll have to confirm your name. 
the first name and the last name. So I'm confirming the above name is correct. I would like to continue registering. You'll have to confirm pricing next. Yeah, it is two hundred dollars. The above pricing is correct. I would like to continue registering. Register now. Then you will receive a message. Thank you for registering. You will receive a email from GBCI within twenty four to forty eight hours with an eligibility ID. So using that eligibility ID, you have to schedule the exam. So let's wait for the eligibility ID. Then we will schedule the exam. After receiving the eligibility ID, you can schedule your examination. To schedule your examination, go to prometric.com/gbci. prometric.com/gbci. Okay, then start. Select your country. So this candidate would like to take the exam in Qatar. Q, Qatar. Yes. Next. Okay. Now the step by step guide comes up. Schedule the exam. Next. I agree. Next. Okay. You have to uh, you know, provide your eligibility ID, eligibility ID, and first four letters of last name. So I'll type Doha and search. So I would like to take the exam here. So I'll schedule an exam. Click schedule an exam. So uh, there are many options. I'll go for uh, find available seats in next three months. Okay, go. So this candidate he wants to take on October twenty three, eight thirty. Next, email ID. Uh, okay, I'll have to fill in these uh, uh, email. Uh, yeah, I'll have to fill in these details. So let me do that. Select the payment option. Uh, I will pay by Mastercard. Uh, 